Amy, we got a good one for you. Yay, what is it? What is it? This is Sandman. Sandman, I love him. Sandman, this is his intro right now. You get to see his intro. I love ECW. We're never going back to WWE. <laughs> and it's Sandman versus Sabu. I, tell me if I said that right. I used to say Sabu, but I think Bill Alfonso told me no, it's Sabu. And I'm not sure. Who's Sabu? Sabu is a nephew, I think, of the original Sheik. He's the. Oh, okay, gotcha. God, the Sandman's so cool. He's already bleeding. Yeah. I he's, love it. Now they, Does he have his eyebrow pierced? There's no reason for that. I love it. As he's coming out to the ring, he hits his own beer cans against his head, so he's bleeding before he gets to the ring. Oh, wow. He had this really cool tattoo thing of, like, himself. I don't know if it's there yet. And... The Sandman thing looks like Budweiser. Like, I can't... Yeah, like, isn't that kind of... Like, yeah. I think... I'm, I'm the, sure they did in Bud Yeah, Budweiser, yeah. Pat Fleur, but probably Bud. Of, yeah. And here's, here's an interesting... Uh, Tommy Dreamer, I think, tells a story where they're on their way to the arena and Sandman overdoses and dies in the car and still somehow like goes to the emergency room, they dump him at the ER, they... Like, for real dies? They bring him back, <laughs> like his heart stops, you know, like when they, they don't declare it died anymore, but back it's like you die. if your heart stops, you died. Yeah. Some kind of story where, and fans correct me with what the story is because it's crazy, but then I think he still like wrestles the match that night. <laughs> Like, weren't you just... Yeah, I overdosed. No, I'm good. Let's wrestle that match. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't want to wrestle them after that. What do they do? Like, give you a bunch of adrenaline? I'm just imagining, like, pulsation. Have some somas. Okay. Like, here you go. Uh, let's ah. wrestle. <laughs> Sandman, first off, smoking a cigarette on the way to the ring was super controversial. First guy to drink a beer on the way to the ring. Okay, what is it thing? Blood, sweat, and tears? Oh, uh, instead that... of blood, sweat, and tears, uh, I get it. I like him. I like it. The he... crowd loves it. Yeah. So the shirt shows his tattoo, so he does have his tattoo already, so we'll have to look for that. And um, ECW felt like you were a part of a cult. They called it a cult. Yeah. Like, you couldn't find it. It wasn't on regular TV. Like, sometimes you'd find it on some weird public access channel for a week. Because mm -hmm. ECW didn't have a regular time slot. You'd have to oh, get a so tape of it. Like you're chasing them down like yes. they're going to be, and they're kind of outsmarting. Like, yeah. they're going to be on public access. There was a yeah, there was a supply and demand where you like you wanted to see it and you like oh, I was on at two a.m. on Saturday on Channel Twenty and then you go there next week and it's gone. And you're like oh, I wanted that so bad. I need my ECW fix. Yeah. And so the Sandman, yes. guess his original gimmick when before Paul Heyman, the mastermind of ECW, helped him reform into this drunken mess. They tried to make him his real self. <laughs> what was his gimmick before that? He was still called the Sandman. I can't did he just he fall off? Oh, okay. So the match has started. Sabu has attacked him. Knocked him off. This is a TLC match. Tables. Tables ladders, chairs. Yep. So they pretty much just throw things at each other and jump off things. Awesome. His pants look like a genie. I like yep. it. Yep. Aladdin kind of looks so, shinier. So what do you think the Sandman gimmick is? Is it more like. You'll never guess. I mean, no, based on the name. Based like on the name. Sand? I thought you would have guessed like sleep, like Sandman goes oh, to sleep. Okay. He was a surfer dude. Like, whoa, man. Like, he'd bring his, oh, like, get his um, oh, surfboard sand to the man. ring. Like, I'm the Sandman, dude. And that wasn't realistic. And Paul Heyman said, be you. Uh, be a drunken. This is way better, obviously. Yeah. But the surfer dude reminded me, like, I guess that was popular. We just saw Bill and Ted. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. it for the first time. And yeah. surfer dudes were a thing in the, like, 80s and 90s. I guess. I'm pretty much making you watch all the stuff that I grew up with, right? Yeah, yeah. I, saw the, I saw the Goonies for the first time in the theater, so that was awesome. <laughs> sorry, bro, not sorry. Goonies was amazing. I liked it. I liked Bill and Ted, too. Yeah. I like the new one. If you guys haven't seen the new one, you should go see it. Watch it in the theater, though. It was super cheesy and horrible, but I, I liked it. It was fun. had uh, George Carlin's daughter as a character. He and there was like a George Carlin hol holograph. Don't know, spoil like, it. It's all right. It's awesome. Holograph, like, hologram, one of those. So Sabu, he's, he's a Michigan guy, so he's one oh, of my boys. Cool. And they've already beat the heck out of that trash can. Trash can's not in the TLC. TL yeah, TLC. T? 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 TLC? Trash cans, ladders, and chairs. I like that they have the trash can. Yeah. That's fun. So yeah. is that like a normal trash can or is it like a fake stunt one that'll kind of crinkle in on itself easier? Ask them. 
Let me know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for leaving me comments and helping me helping me learn. I, I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. I Thank you for watching. Thank you for engaging, and you just made it a million more fun. A million, million times more, more fun. fun. <laughs> a million times One million more, more fun funds. To get into wrestling, having like kind of a community around, and having yeah. people that I can ask questions to, and um, give me recommendations. So thank you. I appreciate it. I love reading your comments, and it's fun because it's like the community we have get, watches wrestling with us. Yeah. And I know we can't show you the full matches. But it's the commentary. All, yeah. all three of us, you, me, and her, talking about it and commenting and giving our feedback is, is fun, right? Yeah. So, Sabu, I think I said that correctly now. I'm learning like, the little behind the scenes tidbits, like it's Sabu so and like the sand line, you see, yeah. the surfer, is what makes wrestling fun. Today, yeah. So, I like that. Sabu, they used to bring him out like in a straight jacket and like on a gurney and then like tip him forward and stuff. And his. The moniker that Paul Heyman yeah, gave him was the most suicidal, genocidal, homicidal, whatever, you know, like, and I like, it's all, he does all the sidles. I like it. <laughs> I like that better than this, like, Aladdin gimmick thing. Like, no, it's not Aladdin. He's a, he's a madman. He's a madman. Is he supposed to be like a terrorist? Like, no. that his thing? Where is he That's supposed to be from? Bom I think he's supposed to be from India. Hmm. Bombay, India, I think. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Silence. Somebody tell us yeah, where yeah. is Sabu from? I don't think he's supposed to be. So I just don't want to get in trouble. And like I'm like I don't know what. We're gonna me too you so is... hard. Oh, you are. <laughs> We're gonna cancel Amy. No. Hashtag. Don't cancel me because I said he has Aladdin pants. Yeah. I don't know if that's okay it's or not. Offensive to Aladdins. I don't know. So, so now one of the things is like these matches are very physical. Yeah. They're not as polished as WWE. The camera no. work and the lighting isn't yeah. as polished. But it makes it feel like cooler. Though. And that's the like, charm. Kind of like Gonzo, like you're just right there. And what does Gonzo mean? Not in the bad sense. Like, what, what, what does it mean? Like, like, like if you're like a Gonzo journalism, like you're there, you're on the ground, and like maybe some of it's true and maybe some of it's not totally true, and you know you're getting the in-depth experience, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> um, that would be my understanding, at least. I'll try not to make any references to the P word that we're not supposed to talk about. Or, what do you mean? <laughs> so, Never mind. Sandman um, definitely was a heart and soul of ECW. I like him. He's a star, for sure. At one point... WCW, World Championship Wrestling, and WWE spent a lot of time and money buying a lot of these stars. Like, buying a lot of these guys and Did bringing they, them in. But they probably didn't try to even buy him because, right? Like, how, he's not ad-friendly. Like, he's yeah. not, he doesn't do their thing, right? He came into WCW, made a very good salary. I think immediately they had him lose to Kevin Nash on Monday Nitro, just a big guy. Mm -hmm. And they changed his name to Hardcore Hack. And yeah, he didn't have the charm, he didn't have the music, he didn't have the gimmick. Half of his gimmick was coming out and smoking a c cigarette and drinking right, a beer. like, that's the fun part of it. If you try to make him PG, it's just like a kind of overweight white guy I'm just in a t-shirt. That's yeah. not fun. I don't know, I'm an overweight white guy in a t-shirt and I want to watch me all time. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, no, it just didn't, some of these guys worked. Sabu, I don't think worked in WWE because maybe he wasn't reliable enough, and maybe um, Saiyan Man wasn't either. Like with WWE, show up, show up six hours early and make it to the staff meeting and the conference call. And, oh, and these guys were just part, like they were really living the ECW life. They were extreme. When you're in the car and you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna make, drop me off at the emergency room before the event. You can't Which do that in a corporate why company. The fans love it because yeah. they are like, I don't know if my favorite guy is going to show up yeah. or not, or if he shows up, is he going to be totally tanked? Yeah. Just, like, what's going to happen? Yeah, there's. That's fun, kind of. You know what I mean? I'm not encouraging it. Yeah. It's maybe not the most healthy thing. They're not role models for sure. Can you see Sab yeah, Sabu's back? back yeah. is in, like, it just looks you know like what that is? Ripped. Barbed wire. Yeah, a lot of barbed wire. You'd have barbed wire matches. Yeah, so that's still scarring from that. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear that Sabu isn't doing that great these days. The bad thing. Why would why why would people hit each other with barbed wire? ECW. Yeah, that's a thing. 
All right, folks, we're going to cut. We're going to make this a two-parter. Uh, two fingers. Uh, two-parter. This is part one. Um, and join us for part two. We'll upload it probably in oh, 48 no. hours. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We're going to see him go through yeah. a table? Right, okay. Cut it, cut it. No, no, no. I want to see it. Yeah. Maybe our editor, Sean, will will actually show just a 10-second clip of Sabu going <laughs> through it in the... <gasps> All right, adios, amigos. Oh, you didn't know? And his opponent... Hey, everybody, this is Badass Billy Gunn, former WWE superstar. I'm here to give a shout-out to Restmore. Because they crossed my mind because I happen to be laying in a bed in Chicago, and this bed is awful. But hey, if you want the best sleep of your life, go check out buyrestmore.com for the best sleep. And I mean the best sleep of your life. There's an Amazon link in the description. Now go get some sleep, some good rest, you degenerates. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below.